This is the Jim and Terry Show, I think. Coming to you from <laughs> perhaps the Hobbit Hole Studio, but maybe downtown Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma, for There's the largest lot. gun show in the world. There's a lot of people here, man, all looking for guns and stuff like this. One guy's willing to buy a tank. A tank, right. And park it in his driveway. Yeah, yeah. He, and he thinks it's okay to have a tank. Well, some people would say he's half tanked. I, good luck if, if you're a neighbor trying to sell your house with a tank. Your neighbor yes, tank. yes, and I hope the tank is not working when you choose this. Do, would he have out. a sign on his front lawn saying "No lives matter"? No tanks. No lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the the dad jokes are starting to roll. Now I'm going to talk about this because of three things that I heard. Have you heard? Three things. Number one, a young black high school student goes up and rings the doorbell of the wrong house to pick up his younger siblings and is shot through the glass. And then when the guy who shot him sees him on the porch, opens the front door and shoots him again when he's on the ground. The kid had to find another house to keep to, to rescue him. I don't know why the guy didn't finish the job, but he didn't. He let the kid get up and how the kid got up, I don't know, but that's one. Number two, a Texas cheerleader, I think, was shot in a car because she got out at night from a competition and her team was parked and she got out to go to her car, what she thought was her car. It wasn't her car. She got in and noticed somebody on the passenger side and it wasn't her car. So she got out and apologized and the guy got out and followed her to the car, which was right there, and shot the person and several others, one fatality, two wounded, something like that. The third one was somebody in upstate New York pulled into a long country driveway, the wrong driveway. They'll come out with a gun. was greeted with gunshots and one person was killed, just shot right through the window of the car. I watched a little teeny kid on the news this morning. Looked like she was probably three years old, maybe two and a half. Her daddy was shot over a baseball. Over a baseball? Baseball. And he was white. Uh, the other ones, I think, were black, but he was white. And in this case, the person doing the shooting was black. I mention that because everybody's going nuts. Yes. But don't matter what color you are. But it was over a baseball. I don't, I don't know all the details, but... The little kid doesn't know what's happened. Her dad's dead. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the guy shot him. I'm assuming it was a ball hit over a fence in, right. in a game. A and neighborly The other dispute. guy got it. And uh, I'm sick of that ball flying over there. Keep control of your kids. Where's that? I'm telling you, if you're not religious, you best get there. The world's coming to a stinking end and it's violently ending. All right, that's my preaching. Well, I hope you get raptured mm -hmm. before it all hits that place. That'd be nice, uh, but on the other hand, yeah, it's you, getting really, really... Look at the atrocities in, in, in Ukraine, Terry, and there's huge saber-rattling over Taiwan. I mean, they're saying it's inevitable. There's going to be a World three World War Three war. And Oh, no, not just, if Trump gets elected, because he's going to solve it. Trump will say anything to get, <laughs> to get elected. Anybody who believes <laughs> Trump has really, really put their head yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I'll say anything. I don't want to imagine where they've got their head. Well, don't forget Trump is issuing his round two of his non-fungible tokens, those superpower cards where he's depicted oh, oh, as yeah. the you know, savior. <laughs> oh, there's more coming out. There's more round oh, two, so goodness. send them whatever it was, $9.99.99, and, yeah, yeah. and you can have your own Trump superpower action figure. Or we, we should have a Jim and Terry show super thing, you know. We I thought it was good that we just got mugs. I mean, yeah, yeah. you and I both have a mug. <laughs> Isn't that enough? Yeah, I think it is. Maybe that's a non-fungible token too. Yeah, but you got all this violent, all this, this <clears throat> separating from sanity. Okay, let's, <clears throat> let's be specific. And my thing was talking about the NRA mm -hmm. because I want to trace it all back to gun control legislation or lack thereof, which takes us to Alex Jones and Sandy Hook because the NRA type people claim that it was a false flag operation designed to push gun control in America because, you know what I mean, if you shoot kids, surely you will pass legislation. No. How long ago was Sandy Hook? Over a, 
dozen years ago? Well, what about Bowling for Columbine? You know, like some of some of the when when you were talking about the NRA there in that convention, and uh, one guy was interviewed. The guy was interviewing him. He's I know he's picking people that <clears throat> don't look like they got it all there, but nevertheless, the guy had a gun with him. He's taking this gun in to. He wants to sell it. He wants to sell it. And the guy said, well, would, would you would you sell it to a, a, like a, someone who's got mental problems or something? No. Well, would you sell it to someone like me who Looks. doesn't look like I have mental problems but do? Yeah, I'd probably sell it to. And that's, it's just bizarre to me. But being Canadian and everything, I guess we're a little bit different that way. But it's getting violent up here too. It's not just a question of violence. It's a question of perspective and what you believe to be good or not good. In Canada, we believe in gun control, and Trudeau's government tried to pass uh, enhancement of the long gun registry and was voted down. They couldn't get it passed. Why? It is so passionate. I know people who own guns, and you can't have the conversation. You just can't have a conversation. Right away, they'll go to, uh, number one, anger. Wow. Anger. And uh, and then That'll number two, conversation. number two, just uh, anger with really uh, n- n- non-intelligible. <laughs> I don't know how to just tell like you. We are right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the argument, the arguments are, you know, this whole thing is guns don't kill people. Yes, they do. In the hands of wacko people, they kill people. If you put a stick in the hand of a mental person, chances are he ain't going to wipe out a school. So just don't be so stupid with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, they do. And so you don't need AK-40s or whatever yeah. they're called. Yeah. You don't need those assault rifles anywhere in, in, in a civilized world. And if you're so paranoid, your government's going to come and take you over. It's time they came and took you over. I'm sorry. <laughs> let it go. Die. Become a non-nation. I don't care what you need to do. Your reasoning is stupid, and it's as simple as that. So I, I'm trying my best in life not to get in arguments. Mm. But you cannot just say, wow, they shouldn't have those kind of guns. It's not guns that kill people. Yeah, it is. It is. If you had a stick in the guy's hand, he might be able to beat one person to death before you I tackle him to the ground. Chris Rock, who had the best solution I ever heard to gun violence, and he said, it's not the guns. He said, people can own whatever guns they want. But you charge him five thousand dollars a bullet, and you'll suddenly see the end <laughs> to gun violence. Oh yeah! Give me that gun. Wait a minute. I cost you five thousand dollars. You have ten dollars. You can lend me. I got a fundraise yeah. to get that bullet because I want to shoot you. I would love it, it if it just went like you know one inch out the barrel and turned into a, like a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Fly uh, away. I remember it's the, just nuts to me, but I mean, I'm not. I'm. I wasn't raised in the southern states mm-hmm. or in Texas. I wasn't raised there where they just worship guns. But that's part of the well, problem. You're worshiping these. Part things. of the problem is the misinterpretation of the Second Amendment and oh, for sure. not understanding historical documents in the context of muskets and single shot and <laughs> pause. Take 15 minutes to reload that bullet and, and honor. If you're going to go shoot your neighbor, you got to challenge them to a duel. That's right. At dawn. At dawn. You get one bullet. If you both miss, which lots of times happen, the battle's over. You don't go into a kindergarten and start shooting up children, you stupid maniac. You're out of your ever-loving mind. Okay, I saw this comment on a Twitter posting I thought was interesting. Why is it that straight, white, young men are the perpetrators of these mass shootings. I don't know whether that's true or not, so I'd have to investigate. But that was a comment that I read, and I thought, that that gives me pause. It gives me pause because a lot of the mass shootings, not a lot, some have been at gay clubs in Florida, Miami. It is fear. Whatever's driving them is fear. Uh, Except, well, I don't think... That's a good starting point. Well, in in like a gay club, the only reason you go and shoot a gay club is because they're gay, you're not. Or and, maybe you are, and you're a closet, or maybe you and are, you're and, you, you, and and you've got a problem with it. Uh, the other thing is, is uh, that shooting that guy in the front porch. I mean, you're horrified of a well-dressed, decent little guy, young man, yeah. ringing your doorbell. He could have been selling Avon for Pete's sakes, or girl guide cookies, or, or something. girl guide cookies, or something. It just, you know, if you're that scared and horrified, open the door and point the gun off him and say, "Get off my lawn." 
do you know like a Clint Eastwood? You don't have to kill the guy, try to shoot him dead, uh, just because he's knocking on your door. And there's 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 more to this story, and we probably should have looked it up. Um, apparently, the 85 year old man's grandson is speaking out, and I got a funny feeling he's not speaking out good things about Grandpa. Uh, grandpa's a closet. Yeah, uh, so we're KKK. gonna have to check. T- I'm curious what it yeah, is. I'm curious too. It was on CNN. Okay, the, the point of this episode was just to say America. It's not even April. We're not even through the one quarter of the year. And already there are more mass killings. And it's just, there's no way to seem to stem the tide. And the GOP are not interested in negotiating gun control legislation. It, again, it's because it's lobbyists, Terry. I, I, I want all lobbyists to not be able to do that. Yeah, we said that, didn't we? Yeah, we so had that. We had a show about that. That's part of our normal people leading yeah, with yeah, normal no, views. No, you're not allowed to have lobbyists. And no. you're not allowed to have guns. If you need a gun, there's something wrong. Yeah, yeah, you, you're scared. Yeah. You're, you're living in fear. I understand for hunting, I really do. But then as a hunter, don't be so angrily protecting the right for you to have that gun. Right. I mean... Wow, I don't get it, um, I'm, and I'm never going to get it, and I'm not arguing it with you. So it's just not, I'm not an apologist when it comes to this stuff. There you go. I think we'll join the no tank guy, and <laughs> no tanks for violence. Well, and you, you hear them all the time. More people are killed with baseball bats. No, they're not. And two no, by fours not. to yeah, the no, side of the not. head. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, what was it? Uh, there was something like... Kitchen, kitchen appliances. Yes. Or you know? They got slammed to the Even toaster. Even if they are two death items... <laughs> Don't make it good, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I did not understand. My toaster's that. never multi killed. <laughs> no, there's been no mass destruction at the hands of my frying pan. Yeah, or a baseball. Or a baseball. And that Nothing. could hurt a lot of people. Yes, it could. For well, the Blue Jays bats, maybe they're not hurting enough people. Went silent, down two to the Rays. Oh, the Jim and Terry Show, all things sports and violent. Take care now. Bye bye. Bye bye.